Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Kalyani Rafael Advanced Systems Private Limited or Kiras is a joint venture between Kalyani Group and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems Limited Israel. The KSSL owns 51% of the group and the later 49%. Kiras plant in Hardware Tech Park, Hyderabad, is also India's first private sector missile subsystem manufacturing facility, which is spread across an area of 24,000 square feet. The Keras facility has been designed to meet the top security classification by adopting the highest level of security clearance from Indian and Israel government. The Keras facility performs the system integration and testing of spike anti-tank guided missile new generation precision guided munitions which includes spice 1000 and 2000 and mrsam missile this state-of-art facility is involved in development of guidance unit servo unit power supply unit command launch unit and thermal site for spike anti-tank guided missile it is also involved in development of forward and control section and kitting of spice pgms for MRSAM, the facility is involved in manufacturing of midsection, front servo, radome, and warhead. The Keras has bagged its first order from Ministry of Defense in July 2019, which worth around $100 million to produce 1,000 MRSAM kits. The missile kits are manufactured by Keras plant in Hyderabad and then sent to Bharat Dynamics Limited BDL for further integration. BDL has set up a new production facility in Hyderabad with investment of $100 million to manufacture both MRSAM and LRSAM missiles. The facility has capacity to produce 100 missiles every year. On 28th August 2023, Kalyani Rafael Advanced Systems Private Limited has bagged an order worth 287.51 crore from Defence Ministry for supply of missile systems. The order is expected to be executed over the period of next 12 months. As per Jane's report, the contract is to deliver an unknown number of spike anti-tank guided missile to the Indian Armed Forces. While the version of ATGM was not disclosed, it's most likely to be Spike SR as this missile is shown under the system integration and testing profile of Kira's website. Talking about the Spike SR missile, it is a short range, man portable, shoulder fired, third generation fire and forget missile. The missile system achieves high hit probability with help of its electro optical infrared seeker. The seeker includes a state-of-art third-generation electro-optical day or night sensor including an uncooled imaging infrared seeker, high-resolution CCD, and optimized tracker. It is a compact and lightweight missile system having range between 50 to 1500 meters. The missile system can be powered up and be ready to fire in less than 6 seconds. It can engage moving or stationary target in line of sight. The missile can carry a variety of warheads such as high energy anti-tank or fragmentation or anti-structural warhead. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.